double blast processing. Welcome to Classic Replay and today we'll be counting down on the best Sega Mega CD games of all time. Hey. Anybody out there? In the 90s market space, the Sega CD Mega CD was seen as quite an advanced machine. Over the course of its life, it would go on to sell 6 million units. Sega. Developed by Sega of Japan in conjunction with JVC, with the idea being that Sega wanted to capitalise on the then CD enthusiasm and beat the PC engine at its own game. It was a 16-bit and Sega's first foray into the CD market. It was somewhat successful, but was criticised for the lack of quality games. In the UK, it retailed for £270. and was later followed by the Mega CD, Sega CD 2. In 1996, Sega discontinued the console, and the rest is history. Altitude is Angels 1. So without further ado, let's start the countdown. Number 30. We start off and take to the skies with Thunderstrike, a game in development for seven months. The terrain you fly over is almost lifelike with rotating and scaling graphics from the first person perspective that will make you clinch your seatbelt tighter. The 360 degree rotational imagery and thundering stereo quality CD soundtrack and sound effects use the Sega CD Mega CD's capabilities to the fullest. Number 29. Spider-Man vs Kingpin from Sega will entrap you with its charm. This game is big, more than 65 levels long, with beautiful cartoon-like animation. You have to think fast, move quickly, and spin a web like an arachnid. There's cool new levels as well, such as Spider-Man trapped inside a giant pinball machine. The booming soundtrack features original theme music created jointly by Eric Martin from Mr. Big and Sega's own Spencer Nielsen. Number 28. Eternal Champions Challenge from the Dark Side proves that the second time can be the charm. The sequel to Eternal Champions brings back all the original fighters with several new moves, but it improves greatly on the gameplay and character animations. And for those who wanted more blood and more ways to finish off your opponent, there are now four ways to brutally end a fight. If that's still not enough, there's four new fighters, Ramesses, Riptide, Dawson and Raven and nine hidden playable characters. Number 27. Published for the Mega CD in Japan in 1993 and later in 1994 for the Sega CD, Barry Arm is a launch title where your spaceship is capable of using multiple weapons and transforming into a giant robot. What's not to like? It might not be the quickest or most difficult shooter, but ramp things up on the highest difficulty level and it should be more than a match for most budding space pilots. Did I mention the awesome rock track and voiceovers? And the graphics are no bad either. Number 26. This one was worth buying just for the driving scenes alone and they're the most realistic on the CD. There's no point having a console without a Batman game. Although the side-scrolling levels are nothing too dissimilar from the original Mega Drive, this is still a quality game. It's a little tough in places, but it's super tight level design and challenging boss fights easily earn it a place on your list. Number 25. This thunderous shooter might not reign supreme as the top shooter for the Mega CD Sega CD. Its traditional side-scrolling action may seem dated to other shooters on the Sega Mega CD, but its classic gameplay though is much welcome. The colours aren't quite as sharp and bright as the original duo version, but the backgrounds are interesting and include a wide range of obstacles and scenery. A slew of pulse pounding rock tunes hype up the action as well. Number 24. 
You play as Kyle Reese, sent back into the past to protect his future leader from early termination. Blast through 10 furious levels and see if you can terminate the Terminator before he terminates humanity. This solid one player title has much that you want in a CD. An amazing cue sound, soundtrack digitized footage from the actual movie and rotoscoped animation for character movements. Number 23. Despite its shortcomings, this disc, amusing somatics, thrilling gameplay and increasingly difficult levels will draw you in. A great game for the Mega CD Sega CD where you can crack the chain and eat pavement in this winner takes all with killer cinematics. This version of Road Rash might not be perfect but it'll see you dodging clubs even when your eyes are closed. Number 22. This one or two player body slam fest pits 20 superstars from the World Wrestling Federation against each other in one fall, brawl, tournament and steel cage match. Each of the 20 wrestlers have their own signature moves. Macho man Randy Savage does his flying elbow smash, The Undertaker takes out opponents with his tombstone, pile driver and Tatanka shakes things up with his reverse fall away slam. World Wrestling Federation Rage in a Cage sends you on a search for the World Wrestling Federation Championship belt, wrestling's most coveted award. Number 21. Core Design's Jaguar XJ220 is every driving sim fan's dream. Strap in behind the wheel of the hottest Jag of all time for racing where you can take on tracks from all across the world or custom design your own challenging raceway. The Mega CD Sega CD is absolutely starved of decent races, so make sure you add this one to your collection. Number 20. This hard punching, face kicking, two player fighting title features six solid levels of street brawl action. Final Fight CD has new stereo sounds, a new two player simultaneous mode and new areas. Join Mike Haggett and his soon to be son-in-law Cody and his buddy Guy as they clear out the Mad Gear gang and rescue Mike's daughter Jessica. It's a fist to face frenzy. Number 19. The popular Genesis RPG series comes to the Sega CD with completely new levels. As Prince Nick of Cyprus, you battle King Iam and his invading army in standard RPG action combined with action adventure sequences. You search the land for clues and surprises, including more than 18 characters, enhanced graphics, sounds, and animated sequences. You might say this is the ultimate upgrade. Number 18. The Mega CD seriously delivered with this one. FIFA is a close second, but Sensi takes it all the way to the cup final and dupes them on penalties. This is massive fun over realism, and it's a game that people played who weren't even into football. If there is to be a criticism, it's that the CD technology wasn't used to its full capacity. There's an ever so slight delay on the sound, and come on guys, Where's the commentary? It's coming home, it's coming home, it's coming, football's coming home. Number 17. This one player action RPG tosses you into a battle against more than 16 bosses, gives you almost three hours of audio dialogue and delivers more than 20 minutes of terrific anime intermissions. Expect at least 60 hours of frantic gameplay as you take your three characters through the wilds of Male's world. It was great to see this blockbuster Japanese title come to our shores. And by the way, watch out for the monsters, they're everywhere. Number 16. In the 90s, shoot 'em ups saturated the market. The really good ones were few and far between. Step forward, Robo Aleste. 
Tenjin did a great job with this one and it qualifies as one of the best yet. Better still, it's a Sega CD Mega CD title, complete with high quality graphics and awesome game music that sets the Sega CD Mega CD games apart from all others. Number 15. This has to be one of the best shoot em up side scrolling games on the Sega Mega CD. Keo moves as smoothly as it sounds. Hardcore shooter fans will appreciate the non stop action, myriad of enemy types, and freakish bosses. Although it doesn't make great use of the Mega CD hardware, this is still a brilliant shoot em up. Thoroughly recommended. Number 14 The mega hit action RPG Rise of the Dragon makes its way from the PC to the Sega CD. A plastic techno punk thriller drops you into the mid 21st century of Ally as Blade Hunter and lets you untangle webs of chilling mystery while trying to survive in the streets. One wrong step to the bathroom and I'd really have something to piss about. You'll have arcade action, puzzles to solve and lots of possible outcomes. This game is candy for your mind. Number 13. Take two titles, that's right two. You get two great games on one disc with Heart of the Alien from Virgin Interactive. Both the all new sequel Heart of the Alien and the original award winning action adventure Out of This World come on the same platter. As a single player, you'll battle your way through this cool blue world, electric weapon in hand, fighting your way out of a bizarre alien prison. With heart pounding fun and heart stopping action, this one's hard to put down. Number 12. They is just another great reason to own a Mega CD. The bottom line is, is that They is a great role playing game that every fan of the genre should be able to get into. It's by no means technically perfect, but it's great to see games like this, of this style, for the Sega Mega CD. Number 12. Let the most hardened, most skillful, most rabid role-playing gamer be warned. Dark Wizard is big, huge. Honour, treachery, love and heroism launch you into a world so vast and dangerous you may well spend over 300 hours before you see and conquer it at all. In the enchanted and enthralling universe of role-playing games, Sega's Dark Wizard is an entire galaxy unto itself. Number 11. Blast into the future with Silpede from Sega. This no-nonsense, high-speed, polygon-based CD shooter features 11 fast, action-filled battle stages, vivid polygon graphics, CD quality music and voice, and weapons designed to kick alien booty. Your highly modified SA-77 Silpede tactical fighter spacecraft has both left and right main weapons, a choice of optional weapon systems, and is fully up to the challenge. Are you? Number 10. This Sega CD exclusive spins up the action with everything from 360 degree texture map terrain to outstanding cinematic sequences. Soulstar gives one or two players a multi-world environment with three different difficulty levels, an arsenal of devastating futuristic weapons and unbelievable music score. Get ready for deep space action and adventure that will have you seeing stars. Number 9. Monster Slayers, Magic Users, Warriors and Guardians, warm up your Sega CD. Lunar Silver Star is a huge game. Silver Star takes you above and below ground, through the skies, across a planet and into other dimensions in a magical quest to become a Dragon Master. Using all the Sega CD's capabilities, Lunar features comic book style stills, digitised voice and music, 
super sharp graphics and an AI feature that selects the best combat. Number 8. Yabba Dabba Do. This is BC Racers for the Mega Sega CD. Super Mario Kart goes road rushing in this charming racer. It's not as intense, but BC Racers is good natured fun. This game is still fun for the entire family. The most novice of gamers can get good mileage from these cave clowns. BC Racers still has plenty of appeal. This is a ride and a lark in Jurassic Park. Number 7 Featuring 4 times as much anime and more than 90 minutes of dialogue, Luna Eternal Blue is as big if not better than its predecessor, Luna the Silver Star. The improvements include a much tougher combat AI, more graphically enhanced spells, a play timer, caves, dungeons and mazes that run as big as 16 levels deep, making this game 3 times larger than Silver Star. And that means more than 80 hours of gameplay for serious anime and RPG fans. Number 6 This has to be one of the best Mickey Mouse games on a 16-bit console. Yes, better than the SNES and the Sega Mega Drive versions. Mickey Mania is a terrific game for all you Disney lovers out there. Don't be put off by its cuteness, that would be a major mistake. So make sure you add this to your collection if you haven't already. Number 3 Mr. Seed. Gillian's fine, and you can call me Gillian Mika. Grip your blaster and step okay. deep into the cyberpunk future. Konami rocked the Sega CD world with Snatcher. A one-player hardcore thriller full of bioengineered bad guys. You need a gamepad and a justified game gun plugged into port 2. I brought him in as you requested. Thanks for coming, Seed. I'm Benson Cunningham. Snatcher starts hard, gets tougher, and is about as brutal as anything we've seen on the Sega Mega CD. Number 4. Sonic CD gives you over 60 levels of action packed, ring grabbing fun in the past, present and future. This Sega CD Mega CD has given Sonic power to do things he never could before. With spectacular time travel warps, 3D looping and bonus rounds, a new speed run that's almost as fast as his spin attack, killer Q sound, sound effects that will have you looking all over your living room for scattered rings, a hot rocking soundtrack containing 35 new Sonic songs, and Metal Sonic, Dr. Robotnik's most evil creation yet. Number 3 NHL Hockey 94 contains over 300 video clips of NHL action triggered by events in the game. Commentary by Ron Barr, over 70 new pieces of organ music and updated 93 team rosters and player ratings. NHL 94 does nearly everything right with great two player action. This is a disc based hockey lover's dream. Worm Jim, one of 1994's best carts, received a new lease of life on the Sega CD Wham! Mega CD, with all sorts of enhancements and additions. While it's not an entirely new game, there's enough freshness to warrant a good look for one of the best versions yet. Earthworm Jim was already a hot cartridge game, but to move to the Sega CD Mega CD reheated the franchise with new levels, sounds, and even more. The early worm gets the bird. Earthworm Jim. Special edition. 